Render me a service, won't you? Will you please, please take this note to Henry? You mustn't tell Uncle. I shall be forever grateful. I feel much better. Here, you play. I'll sing. Please? Come in, please. Keep playing. Come in. She emerges ever more stricken and ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Young man, our lineage has stood honorably for centuries. Her steady decline. Her steady decline. I will muse for long unwearied hours with my attention riveted to some frivolous device in the margin of a book. Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Or become absorbed for the better part of a day in a quaint shadow falling upon the floor.
We burden you with all these cares, but they occupy all my waking thoughts. Yours, Aegeus Pointon. Come in. Cousin, you never leave this room. Come with me for a stroll. Each year's look after Berenice. Her eyes have grown lusterless. Aegeus, are you all right? Look after Berenice. She has loved me long. Her eyes have grown lusterless. Even in the days of her beauty, I never loved her. Yet she has loved me long. Berenice, it occurs to me that perhaps we should marry. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yes, I believe we should. Perhaps come November. I'm. I'm quite forgotten. Help someone! Berenice has fallen! No, I'm all right. It's past. Kumis, you've taken another of your turns. Her eyes have grown lusterless. Another of her trances. Her steady decline. Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Another of her trances. She has loved me long. Each year's. steady decline.
the day of our nuptials approaches. Approaches. Come in. Dearest Aegeus, the day is soon upon us. Aegeus, look after Berenice. It is only by way of the teeth that I can restore myself to peace and to reason.
My lord, a cry in the dead of night. We went in search of my lord, her grave. Disturbed, sir, her enshrouded body. Bloody, yet still breathing. Oh, yes, alive. Oh, sir, lord. From Elise? Wait! I need your help. Edwin has become completely unbalanced. He's violently angry. He even refuses to call for a doctor, claiming her condition is due to my unnatural advances. We must conspire against him. We must take Elise from this dark place. You, my brother. You must help me. Ahem. The mistress Elise is no more. She is dead. It's my fault. All my fault. I loved her as I've never loved. I refused to believe she was ill. My mother, my dear, dear mother, died in much the same way. You discard the secret of Henry's proposal. It only blackens her memory that she should die under indecent circumstances. Cousin, there was nothing indecent about my affection. Surely my grief compares with yours. Please leave me to grieve properly. I ask only that you allow me to sit vigil just until dawn. Yes. It would be proper. Your brother will need light. Go fetch the lantern I was filling in my study.
Good, set it here. No daughters of my own. I hope you'll wear this, my wedding dress, when that happy day arrives for you. Good morning, miss. I thought I'd look in to see if you're feeling something better. Yes. Yes, thank you, Catherine. Yes, miss. If dizzy, you must take a swallow of this. It will help mitigate the seizure. Also, I must counsel bed rest. Try to stay in as much as possible.
Yes? Cousin, you never leave this room. Come for a stroll. He seems miles from here. Are you all right? I'm sorry. Berenice, will you marry me? Aegeus. Oh, Aegeus. Of course I will. I. Oh, I. Fetch the doctor. Find her medicine. He's made me very happy. Miss Berenice, you're soon to be married. Oh my, oh my. I hope he hasn't asked me out of pity. He's so distant. I hope he's all right. Aegeus? Huh? I'm sorry to distract you. I wanted to tell you, Cook's chosen duck for the wedding feast. I'll return at a better time. A cheers doesn't look well at all. Perhaps I should get the doctor. I'm not well either. I'm 
must get my medicine. My medicine. Thank God. 